What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and here we are once again. Today we're covering the Samsung Music application. Now there are a lot of neat features baked into this software, but we're going to keep things simple. We're going to be doing a tutorial on how to create a playlist within this application. So this is going to be helpful for creating playlists for certain situations such as if you want only the best tracks synced to your devices such as the Samsung Galaxy Watch Ultra or comparable Galaxy Watch which we made a video about or if you just want the best tracks on a playlist in general. So here we are in the Samsung Music application which you can find on the Google Play Store at no charge. Now I do want to make a side note here, I am using a Samsung Galaxy device, so I'm not sure if you have another device such as a Google Pixel, if you'll still be able to get the Samsung Music application. But I'd be interested to know if there's anyone out there who has a different device other than a Samsung and you can still download the application. Let us know in the comments down below. So anyways, this music application is very simple. It's got a very minimal layout with tabs at the top. I think this is really nice just for navigation. It makes everything nice and clean and simple to work with. And again, we have these tabs at the top. Now I have reorganized mine but you can add tabs, you can move them around, get it to your liking. So we're gonna start things off by moving to the playlist tab. And then you'll see that we have this plus icon in the top right hand corner. We're going to tap on that. And that's going to bring up a dialog box where we can create a name for our playlist. Now, before I go any further, I also wanna mention that I am using a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. This has an uncommon aspect ratio, so things might look a little different here. But if you're using a traditional smartphone that doesn't fold, or maybe it folds, but it's more like a traditional smartphone, such as a Z Flip series, things just might look a bit more compact. But anyways, we're going to create a playlist, and we're going to name this one just something simple. We're going to go with test, and then we're going to tap create. Now there are several options here. You can select tracks individually that you want to add to your playlist, or we have this option in the top left corner. It is all, if we tap on that, that's going to select all the tracks. Now, if you're looking to streamline things a little bit more, maybe you want only the best tracks because this can get tedious. I mean, you're going through, in my situation, 830 tracks. This would take a long time. So if you want the best tracks, stay tuned because I'm going to show you a hack on how to do that. But just to keep this one simple, we're just going to select some random tracks here. And then we're going to tap Done. And then we're going to have our playlist. It's titled Test here and it's got the tracks that we added. Now, once we're done here, we can back out and then we'll see all our playlists here. So I just recreated playlist about genres and then we've got our test at the bottom. But again, let's say that we want to streamline this process. We don't wanna go through our whole library if it's as big as mine or even bigger. Maybe you wanna do things by genre. That is a possibility here. This is somewhat of a hack. So we're going to go to genres and let's say I want to go with boss beat. Boss beat is my favorite. It's my go-to for workouts. I certainly recommend the boss beat genre if you are looking for something to get you hype. So I'm going to tap on that genre and then we can press and hold on any track. So I'm just going to press and hold on any one here. And this will give us the option kind of like we've seen before where we can select tracks individually or we have the all option in the top left corner again. Just depending on what you wanna do. So let's say that we just want to select a few here, and then we want to add those to a playlist. We're going to have this add option in this bottom navigation panel, I would say, and it's going to be right here in the center. We're going to tap add, and then we have a list of options. This page refreshes. And of course, we're going to go with Create Playlist at the top there, tap on it. Once again, we can rename it. We'll just keep it simple here. We'll just name it Awesome and then tap Create. And then you can see that we have this playlist here titled Awesome with our three tracks. Now let's back out here just to demonstrate. Again, we're in the boss beat genre, so we have to back out again. And let's go to our playlist just to make sure that it's saved there. 
So yes, we have that first list that we created, test, and then we have awesome. Now I have these all organized alphabetically, but I'm gonna look into this more. I believe you could change it, but let's just see here. We have settings. We have manage playlist. And that's just the import export option. Manage tabs. So I don't see anything about organizing differently, but I'm going to look more into that. But this is just how to create a playlist in the Samsung Music application. I really love this application. It works really well. It's very clean and minimal. Now, if you're looking for some more cool things to do, such as how to sync your music wirelessly, say you have a music library on your Windows PC and you wanna sync it wirelessly to your Samsung device, I've made content about that as well. And I'll include that card in the corner of this video too. But that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out.